Right, welcome back. Let's continue. On with our merry adventures. Hi, YouTube. I just like it when she does boom. That's all I like. And then I just fell in love. Oh, I've been waiting for you. Is everybody ready? Yeah, we can go anytime. Mm, Slime Blitz ready too? Yeah, you were lucky. That last minute military order came through like that. We were just about to head out to Limestone Fortress. We can take off anytime. Any time? Don't give away my secrets. Would it be hard to leave without, you know, the ship? Estelle, look down. Oh. Do we have to, um, jump? <laughs> no, we don't. What? What the? What's happening to the fly deck? What, didn't you know? This place got no secrets built into it to blow your mind. To be honest, the gate. Science. And hello, Parasite. Hello, good evening. I don't know much more than... I don't know how much more mind I have left to blow. You probably have more than I do, Estelle. And all this, it's all... I know, it's all Professor Russell's handiwork, right? Peter, your grandfather is something else. He? I couldn't agree more. Thanks for waiting, guys. Just sir. Oh no, I remember doing this. Hmm. Howdy, Tito. Already heard everything from Murdoch. Hard to believe what happened to the professor. Guess it's up to us to help him out of it. But thank you. Yeah, we owe you. Not at all. I'm the one who owes Professor Russell. Okie dokie, we're ready. <laughs> Are we ready to lift off? Alright, let's load up. Brought to Lystone Fortress. Please bring Professor Russell back home safely. And take care of Tita. But sir... No sweat. Let's go then. Everybody's suspicious. <laughs> do you confuse me more? <laughs> I can't remember right. Did you own Baldur's Gate 3? You probably don't. Knowing you, you probably don't. I'll be counting on you, Braces. I'm just thinking of, like, what I'm going to do when it could fully launches if i'm gonna play with others or just have a solo play to begin with hey wait uh, uh. oh head rush hmm dorothy oh chief were estelle and crew aboard that last ship that's right how, how did you know mm, the guild tipped me and there's big trouble brewing. But my editor told me rings true. I wanted to let them know before they left. What, 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 what kind of trouble? I should have think how much worse the situation can get. Well, this is totally off the record. It seems to the Royal Guardsman and Grandson were just arrested for treason. What? what? Interesting. Which members... In Grand Cell, because Grand Cell was where the guy who was uh, who hated uh, races was, if I remember. Ah, yeah, this is the container where you're gonna be hiding. Oh, what if you're a real close friend? It's gonna be a tight squeeze for four people. Really, it looks big enough. It's only half as big inside as it looks. Gotta have cargo in there for camouflage's sake. <laughs> Think of yourselves like the filling for a donut. That's not encouraging. Well, you're fine. It's all a matter of how you approach the situation. Also, uh, this music. Hello? Is that it's, it's the menu music? I'll get the joke done, but I want to take a vacation in there. Alright. Say, so, man, you got any augment facilities here or anything? I'm a little off kilter, so I want to change things up. Oh, we have an onboard preventory of sorts. You're welcome to make use of it. I'll go too. My augment could use a little tune-up after all it's been through. 
you swing a gate? Uh, all right. I'm just waiting for her to call him a gate, Nee Chan. <laughs> ah, nice stone fortress is a 30 minute flight from here. Why would you come to that container so you don't get some rest while you can? Sure thing. Thank you. That's true. I forgot about that. Professor Russell abducted by the Royal Army. Oh, no. <clears throat> Professor Russell abducted by the Royal Army. This changes so many things. If they notice the container's fake, it will ruin the rescue and expose our troops. I've got to concentrate. That's right, Faye. That's right. <laughs> Ryman, we've been swept north, northwest. You son of a... Hurry up and get us back, of course. Every minute you play around is putting Professor Russell in greatest danger. Oh wait, no, that was still him. Just shut it, old timer. No, I can't concentrate you barking in my ear like that. Mm, and now he's gone. The fact you chief not telling us sooner didn't help either. Show a little trust. Hello, adorables. How you doing? Very, very well then. Let's see your combat workman. I'll, I'll just run a quick diagnostic on it. Um, this isn't... Uh, well, you just like to ball around some new gadget. Wow, look how high up we are. It's been a really long time since I was on an airship. No kidding, we didn't exactly have time to go sightseeing on a Sky Bandit ship. Not that this even really compares. We're in an exponentially more dangerous situation now than we were at that point. We just stay alert. There's no telling what might happen. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm still having a hard time wrapping my head around the idea of something like this happening happening in Labelle, though. It feels like the start of something really big. My thoughts exactly. The Sky Bandits and those men in black, they were manipulating the mayor room behind the scenes. If we can learn more about them, we might be able to get a solid lead. Not to mention, why Dad disappeared like that? Yeah. Well, while we're saving the professor, we can look around for clues. Okay, this ought to do it. The metal part of the slot connectors uh, get li got loose. Anybody ever tell you you're a busybody? If I wanted mods that simple, I could do them myself. But hey, thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, by the way, how are you feeling? Hope you don't feel all yucky. Yeah, I'm fine. You really don't have to worry. I got. I. I, I really hope that these two are like a, not a couple. But like they're like partners when it comes to being braces or something in the future, and they're still sort of together as like you know, faux brother and sister type thing. You know, he's like they're looking after her and she just can't leave him alone. You, yeah, I'm fine. You really don't have to worry. If you really want to worry about someone, worry about yourself. Now it's the time to back out. You still want it, unless he dies. But then you know what? That's motivation for her to like grow up. Hi. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I am telling you not to come. It's just. Aren't you scared? Huh? Even though we're doing this with the old man, we're still breaking into a military base. Most kids would piss themselves at the idea of doing something this major. So how come you're all carefree about it? Um, well, I'm really scared out of my mind. But I have Joshua and Estelle with me. And you're here too. Not being alone makes it easier. So I don't have to think about how scared I am. <laughs> Maybe that's a little stupid. <laughs> a little, try incredibly. Anyway, worrying is just a waste of time. <laughs> Sorry. Um, can I ask you something? Where'd this come from? I, um, I was just wondering. Who's Misha? How do you know that name? Um, I, um, you called me that when you were poisoned. I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have said anything. Nah, it's, it's nothing I'm ashamed of. Misha's my kid sister. Oh, wow. You're, you're a big brother? How old is she? Older than me? Oh, no. Well, sort of. I guess she'd be around your age. Huh? I guess you haven't seen her in a long time, huh? What well, keeps me busy? Only go home with her about once. Year. Okay, so his sister isn't dead. Oh, poor Misha. What's that supposed to mean? I just think if I had a big brother, I'd want to be with him all the time. 
bet she feels the same way. But, really? Well, you might be right. If I were more reliable, maybe I'd be with her. Huh? I mean, maybe she is. I don't know. We'll be landing at Lyston Fortress soon. Or braces to the cargo hold. Looks like it's time. Oh, here you are. It's okay, Rinny. At the end of the day, I have time. I have time, damn it. I could finish this and maybe second chapter? Maybe? Probably not. Hi, Estelle. D didn't you hear the announcement? We'll be arriving soon. Yeah, more don't get it ready. Did you get everything you need, sweetie? Yep, you betcha. I even tested the timing. I think I should be able to handle the biosensor, so leave that to me. Well now, that's encouraging. We're counting on you, Tita. Right. Why don't we head why don't we head down to the cargo hold? I have I have a sneaking suspicion the reason why chapter four doesn't have many side quests is because chapter four is not very long. Um, and it kind of is why it's like, oh damn, as soon as second chapter begins, it starts off. So, uh, yeah. I do not think I'm going to be able to play nine, maybe 12 games before that one releases. Uh, like, that one releases not too long. <laughs> like, it releases on July 7th. Uh, ah, yeah, good, you're here. Hmm, so you've got everything set up. We're done with disguise in the container. Just open up your, uh, open up all your see of these plates that are used for fixing ship holes. But there's never door on this side, and you can't tell it's there when it's closed. Hey, that's pretty cool. It's order for the buyer center and last to sneak in. So, what's left is for you to pile in. Are you folks ready for this? Of course we are. I was born ready. Okay then, you'll need to get in one at a time. Once you're inside, I'll close the hidden door. Understood, I'll, I'll go first. Man, this is cramped if you don't get in exactly right. Oh, she getting buried. Eh? Estella, are you okay? I, I'm fine. There we go. Turn your head this way. Okay. okay. Oh, um, Joshua, I don't know about holding this pose. We, we, we've just got to deal with it. Otherwise, we'll never get all four of us in here. R right. Yeah, we have to do this. Ahem. Next up is Tita. Okay, you're in the back. You should all fit in if we do it, th uh, do it that way. Okay, in I go. I feel like she should like close her eyes when she's going in. Oof. Oof, sorry Estelle. Aw, Tita, you're a woman snuggly. Mmm, you smell kind of sweet. Like fresh milk. Ah, yeah. Hey, don't hug so tight. I kind of can't breathe. <laughs> it's not that bad, is it? Mmm, my, what squishable cheeks you have. Estelle, quit playing around. <laughs> I mean, I have mature only. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting nervous. Hey, kids, make a little room. Oof. There, is it too cramped? N no, I I'm okay. I can hold out. Don't be stubborn if it's too uncomfortable, just say so. Oh, okay. Okay, man, I think we're set. Hmm, gosh, you're all close the door. I'll make sure we unload this container ASAP after we land, and from there it's all on you. Just be patient and stay calm. Good luck, kids. <laughs> Don't you worry, Curling. I have that covered. Ha ha ha. Major Sid, I'm here as per your request. Hmm. Hello, Chief Gusty. I'm sure to make you come all this way. That said, however, I'm impressed I wasn't expecting to get here so soon. Your military is one of my best customers. You folks are always a priority. 
Not to mention the order sounded pretty urgent. Only you finished maintenance on the patrol ship, did something happen? Oh, nothing significant, just your usual military matters. Oh, yes, I've heard about the attack on the central labs. Oh, I've recently come to possession of a clue which may help us wrap up this matter in as little as a few days. Oh, that's, that's excellent news. Mr. Rust is one of my greatest inspirations and benefactors. Hope he hasn't been injured. N no, you, you can relax on that score. Oh, how can you be so sure? <laughs> it seems that the abductors are demanding a ransom with the professor's safe return. I've lost the voice for him. I don't care anymore. That would suggest that he's unharmed, so I don't think that's a concern. I see. Well, it looks like the Royal Armed Forces have this well under control. So you plan to do another container check today? I trust you, but regulations must be adhered to. All right, Grunts, get to work. Uh, roger that, sir. Meh, <laughs> Roger. Oh, nothing in usual here. Next one. Yeah, this one's clear. I reckon it's going to trigger, but it's going to be for like... Because we don't know which container they're in, but it's going to be like a mouse. So, oh, I'm picking up an anomaly on the sensors. It's like it's alive, whatever it is. What? What is this maintenance, Chief? Hey, 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 no, I have no idea. You sure your equipment's in working order? Of course it is. The central lab made biosensor. Well, if you say so, it's probably just a mouse or some such. Only worth making such a fuss over, is it? Regulations are regulations. Try the container, men. All right, open it up. It's a cat. Oh. Meow. Wait, is that Antonio? Oh, it's just Antonio. Or Antoine. Where did you, where did you sneak off, huh? Meow. Okay, so what's with the cat? Name's Ant Ant Antonio. Atoini, whatever the fucking name is. He lives at the central labs. I guess he sneaked onto the live nets. He certainly gave me quite a shock. Poor alarm, I guess. Meow. Well, I suppose that one can't blame a cat for being a cat. Hey, you, should like it here? You're welcome to stay for a while. Hey, no, don't try to tempt him. Meow. His name is his name. Meow. I think I'm getting the I think I'm getting the cold shoulder. <laughs> Too bad. See how that bar sends is a pretty impressive piece of work. If not for it, Antonio would have uh, been packed away in storage. Antoine No! Antonio, let's go. <laughs> That's his name now. <laughs> well, it's a central lab make. Alright, man, check the other containers. Uh, yes, sir. I'd be concerned that one of those that container only had like the cat in and nothing else. I appreciate your efforts. We'll bring the containers in tomorrow so you can return to the barracks for now. But pardon me, Major. But how long is the current emergency command structure expected to last? It, it's Roy. Where are we, sir? Why do we have to associate with him? It's not like I don't understand what you're getting at. It's not the place of a soldier to question the orders of a superior officer. Besides, you never know who's watching or listening. Discretion is the must at all times. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. <sighs> I feel guilty. Major, I have intel to report. Captain Amalfia has come and wishes to speak with you, sir. I see very well. I suppose I have to see what the little vixen has to say. Arrgh. Oh my. Ada, ada. Oh, I can't feel my legs anymore. Are you okay, Tita? Yeah, just a little fuzz in the head is all. I'm glad we got the equipment to work. Yeah, nice job. The little, it was a tight situation, literally, but you stepped up. <laughs> Thank you, Gate. But... Fine. Antoine sh showed up. Showing up like that really spooked me. 
Yeah, he was right in the uh, next container under. I thought it would discovered for, be discovered for sure. I think the chief put him in there, put him in there on purpose. Of course, alarm got the soldiers to relax. Kept a cool head though. <laughs> that does sound like something the chief would do. Definitely a man not to mess with. Now we ought to get moving. Okay, so we're here. Uh, somewhere close to the airport, dash airport. We need a plan or else we'll never find the professor. So still check the map and tell me which way we should go. Huh? What? what why are you asking me? Well, it's just how observant you are. So I'm sure it's less to see your answer. I mean, I'd say research wing in all honesty. Well, well, color me surprised. <laughs> just leave it to me. Great job, kid, but don't get cocky. What's your take, Joshua? Hmm, I agree with her. Since it's a standalone facility, it's probably the best place to make use of the professor's talents. I think you're right. Not much time, so let's go check it out. Okay, do we have an exit strategy? Oh, right. Uh, the lake on the other side of the airship port has a wall. Once we get the old man, we can steal a boat from there. Okay, got it. All right, let's let's go check out the research area. You stay close, Tito. Oh, okay. We certainly danced the wall. We can use them to get out of here when we get back. Understood. Roger that. <gasps> oh, those dogs. Hello, doggo. Uh, how much XP are you going to give me? You failed. The alarm has been set. Oh, no. I need 30 XP a time and 63 XP for, uh, for her. That ain't bad, actually. And considering how easy they are to take down, I mean, you know, they're basically just walking XP uh, sponges. Oh, I mean, I've seen the doggos immediately. But then again, those dogs also attack the checkpoint, which they claim it's because obviously, you know, the, the soldiers were there. But it's like, wait a second. They would have to have known that the soldiers were there at the checkpoint and the soldiers would fight them off anyway, which is why it makes it even more suspicious. Oh, I know them. Oh look, what a coincidence, there's the freaking, uh, there's the airship, and there's the guys in the black, uh, uniforms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they are here. The airship from the tower. I thought they must be military. They look nothing like the regular soldiers, though. They're probably a special force here to pr uh, practice covert ops. No wonder that they're so tough. But so is my grandpa and grandpa in there? Looking more and more likely, but if we try to take them on here, we're going to have a rough time of it. You're right. Because of disturbance, we get swarmed by the soldiers inside. Um, isn't there some way we can get inside without being sp without getting spotted? Hey, can we get in from here? No, there are iron bars over the windows. Make any noise? This is going to be even getting. Uh, this is going to get even tougher. Oh. Jackpot. The professor. Oh! I really can't thank you enough, Professor Russell. Your work in finding a means of controlling this gospel is of great help. On behalf of the Intelligence Division, I extend my deepest gratitude. I should have known that you were behind all of this. You're an wretched chief of intelligence. Hard to believe you once served under Cassius. Ah, yes, you and he were friends, if my memory serves me correctly. You've been looking for him, actually, in order where you had to pin down his exact location. If you have some idea of where to base a search, we'd be happy to have that information. Oh, no. Not that I'd tell you if I did. <laughs> well, no matter. If perchance the gospel were to have been delivered into his hands, then I'm afraid it would have presented a problem. However, even if he were to show his face now, he would have no means of stopping this current. Oh, the black opened, or the gospel as you call it. I just want to know what you plan to do with it. Crash that. First and foremost, I want to know what you even where you even acquired something like that bizarre. I imagine my source would rather their identity be kept secret. Our intentions, well, they will become evident very, very soon. At that time, Professor, we'll be happy to release you. All I ask is that you wait. And you're gonna just let a witness to your crimes go free. I assume then that you intend to do something on a grand scale. <laughs> 
are you the particulars up to your fertile imagination? That said, come the dawn when everything is realized, you will assist in our research. This invention will bring the poor riches like none ever before seen. Not interested. Please, Professor. I'll have to finish before you give your answer. Damn, that's some sort of uh, that's some out of, out of eyes right there as well. Like, man, she is sleeping with this freaking uh, Richard. It would truly be a pity if she were to come into some peril and you were unable to help her. You, you, you trying her to get to me? A tired turd, Captain Amalfia. It looks like you're now in powers of persuasion and not as elegant as they once were. <laughs> Pardon me, then. One might say that she has a unique sense of humour. I don't want any misunderstandings between us, but you must understand that we are both only soldiers. You have my word that no civilians will be involved. Save for you, of course. So, you're doing this out of some twisted sense of patriotism? Hmm. Then this black woman that can shut down orbital power? I see, so that's your plan, is it? Hmm. What part of me? Hello, Lieutenant. The Colonel is presently in a meeting. He wants no interruptions. No, it's all right. Give me your report, Lieutenant. Ah, so that's Second Lieutenant Lawrence. Okay. Um, there's been activity in Grand Cell. A white wings were caught in the net just as you planned. My goodness. <laughs> Check and mate. Now, Professor, if you'll please excuse me. Major Sid, see the Professor and make sure he's comfortable. Uh, yes, yes, sir. At least that shows that Richard is not the guy in the red helmet. All right, cool. Is there anything you need, Professor? I'll get you set up with any of the standard, uh, um... Amenities. <gasps> I'm fine. I used to believe that you were different from the others, but you were a, that you were a good, upstanding man. Apparently, I greatly overestimated you. My apologies that you've been abducted by rebels. You see, rebels against the queen, nameless, unknown rebels. Just that fact, and I might even let you write a letter to your granddaughter. Get out of my sight. As you wish. So, Colonel Richard was the man behind all this trouble. Plus, it looks like he wants to find my dad. Yeah, I wonder what that's all about. And who was that masked man? Of course, that bastard will show him now. Hmm, there he goes. Oh, I thought the lieutenant would stay here, actually, and he'd be the boss fight. Unless he is. Grand plan, but what will come of them? Ah, there's gonna be several betrayals at once. Here comes to me. Yeah. Oh damn, it's half ten. Now things have gone interesting. I really wanted to set the score with him, but I got a job to do, and that takes precedence. Um, since the windows are no go, we'll have to take out the guards. Let's make this quick and clean. You're right. Joshua, hey, you listening? Um, no. Uh, are you okay? No, snap out of it. It's not like you to freeze up. S sorry, I, I just spaced out. Are you sure you're feeling okay? I'm, f I'm fine. It's no big deal. We have to take out the guards by the entrance, right? Yeah, so let's get a move on. Interesting. I mean, well, my fears are right anyway in terms of certain stuff. But I'm still trying to figure out, apart from maybe being a distraction, and like a red herring or something, so they could like do their things like covertly while they did their stuff. Um, like, what was the point of them manipulating those thieves? You know, like the 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 what the, the that that gang basically. Hmm. I guess I guess making them a distraction. Yeah, that would make sense. Ooh, I really wanted to be part of the Grand Cell operation. But no, I'm left here guarding an old man. 
Thank you so much for the kingdom, for our dream or the colonel's name. Such is the life of the intelligence division special ops. I suppose we're the colonel's hands and eyes. <laughs> it's just me, you're the colonel's ass. What? Oh, it, it can't be. I'll get across there. You're too damn slow. They have guns. And you have, like, a sword. Alright, there's two of them, there's four of us. I think we're okay. I mean, sword does beat gun, but sword also has to get in close to, you know, do what needs to be done. As cloud. Okay, a gate. Does sword beat gun? Ouch. Oh, ouch again. He's hoping Colonel Richard gets a demotion because he's giving up major dip vibes. Yes. Absolutely. I hope he too has a, uh, a demotion. Oh my god, that's amazing. What am I going to do, you people? I know it's funny. Is you're also you're also uh, good as gold when it comes to in Riley Shadow, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as it's here <laughs> Wait, I'm not against that, okay Good lord, those guys were easier than before Way easier <laughs> Sucks to be you No fun when someone gets back at you for making a fool of him, huh? Mm, it's not good to carry a crutch, you know now it's a race against time. I have to get the professor out as quickly as possible. Right. So you're back. Enough. I told you I don't want anything. Get Grand Grandpa. Grandpa. Tila. I must be dreaming. Grandpa. Thank goodness you're okay. <laughs> Wee! Oh, this isn't a dream. A new lot. Hey, Professor, you don't look like you're feeling so hot. The fact you treat Murdoch asked us to come and get you out of here. Oh, I'm impressed. You actually sneaked in here. So much like your father, not a lick of common sense between the two of you. Hey, old man. Sorry to interrupt your little vacation, but we need you to get ready for a jailbreak. You don't have a lot of time. Who are you? Oh, you came from the wrong side of the barn, I can tell that at least. You have a head like a chicken. A, a, a chip. Say that again, you geezer. <laughs> nice one, Professor. G Grandpa, you shouldn't say mean things like that. This is the gate. He's a senior bracer over a sudden Joshua. Oh no, I had no idea. When you think of it, I think I've heard Cassius mention your name before. Then we had Bad Seed was always talking about one thing or another, I believe. About this far from wringing your neck, old man. Now, now, calm down. Professor, we'll have to save the explanations for later. For now, we need to get you out of here. Is there anything you want to bring with you? Hmm, can we carry the K-Pile unit? I leave behind, I know that those fools will just misuse it again. Understood. I legit for who's about to lift the whole thing. I've been using that in my research to find a means of controlling the Black Orbment. I was able to discern its physical composition, but I did have some success with the control method. Which means that these fools will be able to cause that phenomenon to reoccur whenever they want. Oh. I'm sorry, you're selling Joshua. I hate that it's being so grievously misused after you went to all the trouble of bringing it to me. Believe me, we understand. With Tita's safety on the line, I can't imagine any of us would have done any differently. Besides, it's not our fault that you two got caught up in this to begin with. Oh, for the love of Ios, we don't have time for you to give speeches. If you're all set, then we have to go. Get your asses in gear. Move as fast as the old man's slip disc will let you. Oh, very clever. Don't let a young man beat me in, and I'm not about to start now. Come on, both of you. Nice, right, let's go, old man. We have ourselves an old man in tow, and it's gonna be great. <laughs> Your, your feet will just let you escape. Oh no. What, what's that? Oh, kiss the G is up. 
Um, it appears we have an intruder. Get out there and start searching, men. Platoons 1 through 4 will go to the airship port and the docks and establish a blockade. 5, 6, and 7 will search the barracks, watchtower, and research facilities, respect uh, respectively. Platoon 8 will accompany me to headquarters. That is all. Move out. Uh, yes, sir! Look what you did, Riley. Crap, look at the soldiers. It looks like they're putting the squeeze in the airship port and the docks. The Major knows what he's doing. Yeah, what else would he spend the sea over for defense regiment? But what should we do? Where do we go? Well, you mother docks is gonna be tricky. We should avoid the guards and find another way out. I mean, can we go out through the fricking... Can we just go out through the main gate? I mean... That's possible, right? You! A traitor spotted! Crap! What was that noise? Intruders? Oh, more incoming. Back to the research area. Oh, getting through the airship ports to the wharf isn't going to be easy. Trying to find over escape route. Yeah, it's getting anywhere near there is probably unwise. Hey, they're out cold. Oh, these guys can be pretty damn tough to take our special ops. Ah, oh, the building's empty. Search the premises. Whoa, did they spot us? Oh, fall back for now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hello, command center. Intriguing. I mean, I guess no one's really in the command center. So, yeah. Shim, shim, shim. Wait, who are all these people in jail? Wait, they're in jail. Oh my god, what are they doing in jail? Hey, don't you think it's awfully noisy outside? Hmm, sounds to me like someone's breaking in. Say what? Who's breaking in? Nobody's allowed to break in until we break out. Nobody! Easy, bro. You know your simple little escape plan won't ever. Hmm, this is like the dungeon. Wow, it's a lot bigger than the dungeon at the Hacking Gate. Huh? What? I... You? You guys are... This is basically Riley and Kay meeting each other in prison. You're those punks from before! Well then, um, l long time no see? Oh, okay, you guys are being held here. Uh, how has he been? Hey, we don't need your damn pity. Anything you're good for is handling a pole, air for brains. Jeez, I was just trying to be polite. To make you feel better, insult me all you want. Estelle is clearly yourself, Riley. Look, you're a brunette, she's a brunette. She's an airhead, you're an air. Oh, what? Don't try to play it cool. Um, I'm assuming you know these folks. They're the Kapoor Sky Bandits. They hijack the airliner. <laughs> Oh, but stories about them. But Estelle's awesome. He's a very high-powered airship, don't they? I've heard it's something Pyrrha makes, uh, but I'm curious about the specs. Yeah, it's got a top speed of 2300 soldier per hour. Uh, I mean, why should I have to answer your questions? Why aren't we, Paddy? C grandpa I don't think this is the right time for asking about that kind of stuff. No, wait just one damn minute. Why are you brazers here in the first place? Are you the cause of that siren? No. Mmm. Uh. Oh, sorry, you should. I that boy in the rally. That was a good character. Riley should be honored. No fair. You're the intruders, right? Hey, let us out of here. That was a surprise. Come to think of it, those guys have some connection to the men in black, right? But they got arrested by Colonel Richard, which means... Maybe the Colonel's trumping up as one of his accomplishments. And maybe Mayor, uh, Mayor Dalmore was used in a similar fashion. 
And yet I somehow just can't seem to must up, must up any sympathy for him. We're wasting time here. We've got to find another escape room. Wait, are we not going to escape? Okay, the dungeon's a dead end. Hurry with those guys, Hannah. We've got to find look for another way out. Watch out, watch. Oi, did you find them? No, and I've searched the barracks top to bottom. So, uh, search guys for the watch here. Ah, it's Lisa's headquarters. Uh, well, we're there. We can report to the Major that we've come over the play. Well, we've gone over the place so far to go. Oh, I think they're coming this way. Shit, and this is a blind alley too. Come on, this way. Hey. Hey, did you hear something? Yeah, I think it said this way. Oh, there's no time. You don't want to get caught, do you? To be caught, do you? Um, I don't think I misheard that. We don't have a choice. You might as well give it a shot. No. Come on, just down the corridor. Hey, jo hey, Joshua. Do you recognize that voice? Yes, it sounds familiar. Yeah, I have a feeling I might know who the voice is. Quickly, get inside. Hey, no, this room is. <laughs> well, I don't know what is intended. We don't have any other choice but to keep going. Oh no, it's not him. Damn it! I was really hoping it's Olivier. Not a spectacularly close. I knew it. Lock it, just to be on the safe side. Got it. Wait, hang on. You're the one who set everyone on to patrol. Why even do that? Of course I miss Olivia. Of course I do. He's my... He's my... He's my spirit animal. <laughs> what are you planning? You're the CEO of Lice and Fortress. You cut a richer order to keep me locked up. I'm very sorry about that. He's already seized control of the Royal Armed Forces by using his position in the Intelligence Division. The main generals were given the choice of obeying him or being imprisoned. That explains it. Colonel Morgan refused to obey him and as such is currently imprisoned at the Hacking Gate. Yeah, not traitors though. That stubborn old man. This is getting serious. What the hell, I figured things were bad, but not that bad. When did the military structure get that fragile? Unfortunately, observance of military regs has been breaking down ever since the end of the war. Particularly since the top brass hasn't stopped embezzling and accepting bribes. Colonel Richard just took advantage of the situation. My god, I worked it all out already. Except for that, but I'm basically right. I see, so he's able to make use of the military's existing corruption and weakness to seize control. Precisely. With General Morgan in custody, that leaves Colonel Richard as the man in charge of the entire Royal Armed Forces. That, that's horrible. What about Queen Alicia? Is the Supreme Commander of the Army arrest with the Queen? Mysterious enough, Queen Alicia has been has kept silent on the matter. The Royal Guards are actually being sought for questioning on, on suspicion of treason. T treason? Lieutenant Schwartz too? The attack on the Central Factory has been pinned on the Royal Guardsmen. This is photographic evidence as I understand it. Dorothy's pictures. That, that just doesn't sound right. The factory was all messed up and Grandpa was kidnapped. The Kate was almost killed. You can't just go around blaming people for something like that. I really don't know what to tell you. You never disobey a direct order from a superior officer, but since never voiced my objection, the fault still lies with me. I know this will not make up for all I have done, but I was hoping it would go some way to atoning for my actions. You better take time with it, ain't you? Well, well if, you're supposed to, if, what, if that what you said is true, uh, I suppose I can forgive and forget. I had been prepared to bring you with a wrench and soften up that hard head. Pity. I, I'm sorry. Grandpa. It was a joke, dear. Okay, I got everything. But what are you planning to do now? Are you planning on hiding us until the heat dies down? No. I have a much better solution. There's a way for you to escape the fortress through this room. Through this room? How? Ah, I get it. There's a secret passageway or something, right? <laughs> Very shoot, boy. Central military control. Not bad, not bad at all. This emergency escape hatch leads to an underground aqueduct. There's a boat set up there, so you could you should be able to use it and escape. Ah.
Illegally, even my telling civilians about it would net me 10 years in prison. But even if military regulations would forgive me, I think ideas probably will. Major. All right, we'll use it. I'll go down first, then the old man and Tita. It's Jared and Joshua, we need to watch our backs. Got it. Roger that. Hello, well, Major. Um, well, thank you very much. Well, then, that just leaves us. Thank you for everything, Major. We're in your debt. You don't need to thank me. To be honest, to be honest, I was expecting this since the moment I first saw you. What? You mean when we met at the front gate? Yes, as soon as I heard your last name. After all, you are the children of Colonel Cassius, are you not? Colonel Cassius? Oh, you mean my dad really had a rank that high? Richard may be a colonel now, but he served under your father back in those days. Your dad was a real hero. It was thanks to his efforts that we were able to defeat Urbonia in the war ten years ago. Being as you're his children, I'm not surprised that you found out the truth and came to help the professor. I... Really? But you never said anything about being any kind of military hero. Are you okay, Major? The truth is spotted in the dungeon. The last likely place for them to go uh, to be in his central headquarters, sir. Uh, your orders? Crap! Acknowledged, I'll be right there, so put the facility on high alert. Come on, you need to go. Oh, okay. Excuse us, then. God damn it, Major. God damn it. Eek! And we broke Andy's. I scared the living daylights out of me. What's the deal with the slide? Like some kind of secret waterway. Come on, let's catch up. What happened, Joshua, to your voice? It was slightly higher pitched there. Anyway, that seems like it's a good calling point, uh, or it's a good stopping point for the YouTube side of things. So, uh, thank you very much for watching uh, out there. Hello there, once again. Say hi, hi to YouTube. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, obviously, if you want to continue and uh, have it uninterrupted, then obviously come over to twitch.tv for slash Wobsy, where we continue the lovely fun games all this time with no interruptions whatsoever. Don't forget to hit like, forward, subscribe, all that nonsense. I'll see you next time. Another fun adventure when it comes to Estelle and Joshua. Who knows? Maybe they'll kiss. They probably won't. But who knows? Maybe they will do.